Hi, uh, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez. I want to thank all of you for being here. I do appreciate each and every single one of you. I appreciate all the support and all the love that you all give me. It's so much, by the way. It's crazy. It's almost too much, but I like it. All right. So I want to thank you all for that. I want to send my uh, regards, right? Um, and I also want to remind you all, like the the comments and the uh, and the likes, right? Really do support my channel. Also subscribing does as well. And yeah, I am just, uh, you know, that, that really is a good way to show your love and all the donations I've been getting very helpful. Um, let's see, let's see. So yeah. To, oh, today we're going to be doing a reading focused on what your person's life like life is like right now without you in it. So this is a no contact, um, reading for those that are in no contact. Um, you, if it could be limited contact as well, but it's very much focused on those to just give you some insights and awareness about what's going on in their life. Um, and it's, I also find this very helpful, right? Um, just, you know, it kind of, uh, kind of settles your mind a little bit so you can focus on you. Right. Um, and, but it, it's a very, it's a, it's a pretty helpful reading nonetheless. Anyway, but, uh, we're going to do Aries all the way down to Pisces. Oh, by the way, this is not a live stream. Like I actually like to do, um, YouTube has been demonetizing my videos like constantly. So I have to do it this way. That's what it is. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, we're at, okay. We're at one minute and so no, let's do one minute, 40 seconds. Okay. For Aries. All right. So let's see. Um, St. Germain and Kuan Yin are going to be alternating between, uh, answering the, uh, the question. So for you, we have St. Germain. Um, so St. Jeremy, can you tell me what is Aries, this person's life like without Aries in it? Hmm. So you have someone here who's, um, they're having trouble wrapping up some past life influences. It's not just that though. I also think that this is someone who's having trouble releasing their past in general, but I think that there, there are past life influences catching up with them in a big, big kind of way. But I see this person trying to bring their past into their future and, I understand that, right? I mean, like, really understand that. We all get it, right? And all of us are guilty of that um, throughout our life, right? Where we, we struggle to release what has been, what we've outgrown, right? What no longer serves us and what's no longer bringing us fulfillment. And I feel like this is someone who's trying to bring into their, their future things from their past and their present that don't bring them fulfillment. So that it's, they're very much struggling to even recognize that's a problem. But I see this person right now currently doing that where, um, it could be an old job or an old people, friends, uh, connections, whatever, what have you. And it could be habits, right? But they're trying to bring this forward and they're not recognizing. Well, it's interesting because, uh, this is someone who has the idea. I want to be happy, right? Um, I want to live a, a life of happiness, of meaning. I want to look back at my life and think, damn, I lived that, right? But they're not getting that. What they're bringing into their future is not going to get them there. But it's, I think all of us do truly understand that. I think so, right? But understanding it and integrating that, not the same thing. So this is someone who's not integrating the fact that they know they have to release these things, these unhealthy, unhelpful things that bring in very little. Um, they, I think they understand, I should do that, but they're not doing that. Um, but it's it's very typical in this uh, for humans' mind. Human minds uh, struggle with this concept Um greatly, right? Uh, it's that struggle of, of, it's the fear that we have, like, honestly, bred into us. That's what St. Germain saying is bred into us, uh, where it kind of keeps us stuck. And it keeps us from that evolution that we all, that we all want, and we're all seeking. And what's going to bring that evolution is going to bring us fulfillment. But um, one way or the other, I think this person will figure that out. But let's see, what else is this person's life like right now? There are some... Uh, I don't know. I, okay, St. Germain's bringing for an example. He's saying it's like driving a car and then you, you you get hit by, you get in a car accident, right? And it's like that, but that's going to happen to them in terms of life. Like uh, like life experiences is just going to wreck them. They're going to be, t be totaled. There's a few different things that are going to hit them. Um, necessary experiences, but tragic, um, painful experiences nonetheless. And it's what's about to happen though. I think that in some ways this is coming from their past life influences, but I also feel like these are just necessary, um, experiences this person has to move through to grow. 
But uh, so that's more like what's about to happen or what could currently be happening. But <clears throat> that's what I see right now. Let's see. Is there anything else, um, Saint Germain, for what this uh, what areas this person's life like right now? They have not lost hope, and I I understand that that seems like a good thing, right? But based on what this person is doing, um, not losing hope is not a good thing. I, I, I know it's like, seems like it's the opposite. Doesn't, it's the craziest thing, but this person hasn't hit that low, low that helps them like let, release and let go of everything, right? You know, it's uh, when we hit those states of like, I don't care anymore. We let go of all the things we're holding on to. And then we can start to see the light and start to be free. All right. But this is someone who hasn't lost hope for it's like, so I think that they could be holding on to people, places, things that they hope can bring them happiness, but uh, they're not going to. And until this person lets go, loses that hope, right? They're not going to let go of that. So you have someone here who's stuck, right? Um, still hoping that their comfort zone, the things that they find comfortable are going to make them happy. Um, I understand us wanting that, right? Because we're so scared about the unknown, but we all need to be real. If you're com like your comfort zone is not making, if you where you are in life is not making you happy, your comfort zone is not making you happy, then it's not going to make you happy in the future. How? I, and this is, it's like that. That's the energy. But um, they're still hoping that somehow it will. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. It's the hope that kills you, isn't it? Right? But that's where they're, that's where this person's at right now in life. Anyway, um, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. I want to thank you, um, Aries. I want to thank you. Don't forget to like and comment. And let's see. We are on a Taurus. So we're at 650 for Taurus. All right. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Can you tell me, um, uh, Kuan Yin stepping forward for you, Taurus? Can you tell me what is Taurus's person's life like without Taurus in it? Mm, they're meaner than they used to be. Um, this person's very mean now. I think they have a tendency to blow up or they have a short fuse. I, I don't know how you would put it, but that's it, it's part of it. Um, they are mean-spirited. There's a, a deep pessimism within this person. Um, there's a lot of... Um, you know when like someone just it, it's like they are easily set off, right? They have this like rage issue. All of us have someone in our family that does this or has that issue, right? Where they're just they they have such a um such a big temper, right? Um, and this is someone who's very much in that energy where their temper is actually really big. I feel like they have a tendency to explode. I feel like they have a tendency to hurt the people closest to them as well. They're a very volatile, explosive person right now. And that's not actually going to stop uh, of, and, until this person deals with the, the root core issue as to why they are struggling and why, uh, why they're mad. I think they're mad because of the choices that they've made that have made this person um, ill-tempered. Yeah, 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 I think that's the way you put it. Anyway, but uh, it's their choices. And this is someone who's actually very mad at themselves. But guess what? You know, that anger doesn't come from experiences in your life, right? You're, that anger that this person is, you know, having, it comes from within. And that's actually what it is for everyone. And I know that that's so crazy, right? Because logically, we think the experience that we just experienced is what's making us angry. But that's not it, right? The anger is from within yourself. And this is someone who has a lot of, they're mad at themselves, they hate themselves, they're angry at themselves. And any little thing sets it off and, they, and then it starts to be projected onto everything else. Like a, it's like a vomit, I guess, right? It just, like, it's just like shooting out of them. So that's actually what their this person's life is like. And I know that this, since this is no contact, it's, um, Saint Germ sorry, uh, Kuan Yin is saying that, um, it is, uh, it's lucky that you're not in this person's life because that would be awful to be around them, um, in this current energy. But, it is part of their growth. Um, until this person actually deals with it, they're not going to stop um, what they're doing. It's like a natural reaction. Their natural reaction is to go to rage or to red state. Um, but until then, uh, this person is this person is um, 
always going to respond that way until they, I mean, until they heal themselves, until they fix themselves, until they actually look at why am I this angry? It's not actually a what's happening. <laughs> um, that's just the latest thing, right? It, it's, it's far deeper, far farther back than that. Anyway, let's see what else is this person's life like right now? Um, they are stuck in their comfort zone as well. Uh, they don't want to leave something, um, in their life. Cause I see this person, there's a gate, right? It's a black gate and it, and ahead of them is like a path. It's a dark path, but the the ground itself is lit, right, with white light. And it's like you kind of know, like, oh, I should probably walk down this. <laughs> you know, I got maybe I should go see what's there. But they're too scared to cross that uh, that gate, right, that fence, wherever they are. It's some kind of sanctuary of some kind. And they're gonna stay there for quite a, a while until they get up that get that courage. Um, so I feel like this person is in that comfort zone. They're going to stay in that comfort zone and they're not going to leave it anytime soon. Let me see what else is here for this person's life right now. I do feel like this person is trying to heal things with a parent. I got it as the mother, but I, I don't know. Um, it, it's again, this is like a general reading. It's hard sometimes, but I, I felt like a parent themselves. And um, sorry, Kuan Yin is saying that the parent doesn't even have to be in the life or have to even be alive. But you still got to work that out, right? And that is what it feels like uh, for some of them. But it, this is someone who needs to work things out from a parent or um, a relationship there, or forgiveness there as well. It, it's a key component. There's something. There's something that goes as far back as a child experience that they have to deal with. Um, anyway, I think that's it. I think that's it. Stuck in their comfort zone. Very angry. Very frustrated. Taking it out on everyone. Um, and until they deal with that, they're not going to stop that. Yeah. Oh, very, very interesting. Sorry, I just did Aries. This reading was real crazy too, but this one's interesting as well. So I got to leave it there. Um, uh, Taurus, um, please don't forget to like and comment. Thank you so much, Taurus, for being here. So let's see. Uh, we're at 11. Let's do 50 for Gemini. Alrighty, Gemini. Uh, let's look at what your person's life like without you in it. Um, let's see who wants to answer this. I think Kuan Yin again. So Kuan Yin, can you tell me? Ooh, 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 ooh. So this person is stuck in a bunch of low vibrational connections. I don't know. Uh, ooh, I, I don't know how to phrase this. So I see your connection being like, sorry, I know you can't see it, like really up here and where they are is stuck in like the, the lowest tier of connection, like the vibrations of it. And uh, they keep drinking from those waters. It, okay, I uh, see, uh, sorry, um, Kuan Yin is giving an example. She's calling it like, you know, in a castle, how the lower... Um, uh, like the like the the poverty people, right? They will just be, uh, they will get like the 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 backwash water, basically, right? You know, uh, the the rinse water of everyone else, right? It, it's because of how that's how it flows down. Yeah, that's what they they're doing. So this person is very much stuck, right? Drinking that water. Um, uh, and it's interesting because water is literally connection and flow, right? And this is someone who is stuck in connections that are low vibrational. So I think that they uh, low vibrational connections have a tendency to be addicting, right? Um, because we are stuck there. So that Kuan Yin is bringing that up to a certain extent. There is a slight addiction here. Um, this person truly believes that they deserve these low vibrational connections. And the low vibrational connections very much match their energy. I think they are more like middle class Right, in terms of energy, this person, um, uh, this person definitely sees you as higher or upper class, by the way, very clear, um, royal court for a lot of views, but they truly believe that they are with their people. Um, they're not though. It's sad. It's like really like, oh, wow. You think that, right? Yeah. It's really, you do. Like, wow. I'm like, I'm shocked you're saying this, but it's that, that's what it is. It's, this is someone who truly believes that they're with their, their very people. But when, uh, I know that it sounds like super craziness, right? But the people that we surround ourselves with, we take on their energy, we take on their information, and we take on their vibe. And this is someone who's very much stuck there now. And until they are able to release that, they're not going to feel or not even going to uh, be better. Like this is someone who, I don't know if why they're staying stuck there other than the self-worth, which I think is pretty bad, but I don't think it's just that. But it's like they truly believe that this is just... 
maybe it's as good as it gets or it's as good as they deserve. I, I don't know where this is coming from, but uh, they are, they, they're, they're real committed to those connections, by the way. And they are surrounding themselves with these people. I think they may actually have a tendency to talk on the phone daily. That's how I got it as the first message, by the way. But they don't have to. It could be social media in general, right? You know, just uh, stuff like that. But I think that this is someone who needs to spend more alone time, less on the phone time, basically. And this is that's when they'll have those epiphanies that they need to let go of this and they need to strive for more. But I think that they're in that during that um <clears throat> sorry, my throat's starting to close up. Um, I think they use their voice a lot, by the way, talking uh, nonsense, by the way, chit chat, that go, that means nothing. I don't know if it's, and it's so funny. I'm always like, I walk by people and I just hear them talking. They're usually they're complaining, by the way, it's real funny. All, almost all of them are always complaining to their friends about what's going on in their life. Such low vibrational <laughs> conversations, but whatever. And I see it and I have such love for those people. You gotta have compassion and love. I, I always do. Um, it kind of reminds me of that. That's what that's what they're that's what they're giving me, right? Where this is someone who's um, in those low vibrational, you know, conversations, and they're stuck there. And you know, it's interesting because you can talk about your problems all you want, but you know, there are there's a there's a type of people who talk about their problems, and a type of person who the second type, right, who fixes them. And they're not a fixer. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. They're very much stuck on a hamster wheel. Yeah, that's what, sorry, that's where I was leading it. I forgot I had got that and I, I leaned on something else. But yeah, it's a hamster wheel. Um, so they're very much stuck doing that, uh, complaining about their life rather than doing a damn thing about it. But why do they stay? Self worth. Fear is another one. Um, they don't have compassion and understanding for themselves as well. And this has to do with maybe failures or shortcomings that they've had. All of us, you know, you learn from failure. It just it is what it is. You just, you something blows up in your face. Wow, so much learning for you. But it's also very painful. But this is someone who I feel has internalized those experiences and the wrong way. And they, they went, they, they internalized that there's something wrong with me. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with you. You're just learning, right? But they don't see it that way. So now they're stuck there. I think that they may get off the hamster wheel, but it's hard. I think they need a monkey wrench. That's what, um, sorry, I, I, I believe Kwan Yin, Kwan Yin is, is saying, um, where they need like a, so someone to throw a damn monkey wrench. I think you were it for them. And you jammed it a little bit. You stopped it. But they got right back on. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's no contact, right? Yeah. They got right back onto that. So let's see. Is there anything else that you have? Mm -mm. That's what I got for this person's life right now. Sad, by the way, real sad. Um, all right. Um, oh, thank you, Gemini. Don't forget to like and comment. And uh, we're moving on to Cancer seventeen thirty for Cancer. Let's see. Uh, what is Cancer's person's life like without them in it? Um, I think this person had and you had a really nice connection, and they miss it. By the way, so this person is very much missing the connection that they had with you. Um, there was a lot of um. Hmm, I don't know. I, this is the scene I'm getting. I know it's going to be for someone, but it is what it is. It's like where you're both laying on bed, back, like, you know, back, one's on the on back, and the one's on the back, and you're just facing each other like this. Oh, another one's like that, right? And talking. Yeah, they really miss that. They miss it so much. And it's something that it meant more than you realize, by the way. It, it, but it also meant more than they realize it meant in that moment. So it's now hindsight that they're not able to see just how powerful and how profound that those moments that they shared with you. It doesn't have to be that exact, um, like on a bed, but it was times when you were really connected, connecting, you know, like intimate sort of manner, right? Um, and, I, and intimacy isn't like physical, though I actually did get that as a first message, but it doesn't have to be. But it was more intimacy in terms of, um, of, of being just you two. And they just love that. Um, but it, in that moment, they appreciated it in the moment. It was like, oh, I, this is boring. No, they didn't think that. But they really, really, really now look back and like, wow, I, I can't believe. Uh, I wish I had enjoyed that more when it was in my life or when that was, when I was living that moment. And they didn't. And they look back, there's a little regret there, by the way, about not, not enjoying that. But nonetheless, nonetheless, this person is very much missing you. Um, they, they miss, um, 
they just missed connecting to you. I do feel you are a part, though this is obviously no contact, but it does feel that, that way. Um, this person is really recognizing the difference. Oh, no, sorry, the space, the space between you right now. Um, they're very much recognizing that. And it's, um, I, it is in some ways, um, sorry, who's answering? I think we have, uh, it's a mix of St. Jerrine and Kuan Yin. Sorry, they, they keep going back and forth, so I don't know who's answering exactly. Anyway, um, but what I'm receiving is they are, uh, the, the, it's, the quote is, uh, distance makes the heart grow fonder. That, that's what it is. Uh, so it's very much that, um, but it has to do with more so with hindsight, not the actual, like, distance, right? It's more of this person really recognizing what they had. And now they're recognizing, well, damn, I don't have that anymore. And they get the difference. And that is, it's so important that they had this experience, by the way. Um, it wasn't that they didn't appreciate you though, by the way, I want to make, I don't, I don't see this person being like very unappreciative of your time and your energy. I don't see that. I don't, I always, I feel like they always were appreciative, right? But they did not have that much appreciation for it. It was some, but it wasn't much. Um, now there's it's overflowing, and they really, really, really love your energy. Let's see. So, what else is this person's life like um, without cancer in it? Just empty, um, boring. I think. Um, I think this person fell for you, uh, cancer, before. Their, their head realized they fell for you. I hope that makes sense. It's so crazy. That's what I'm getting. It's like, I, it's like this is someone who was just going about their life, um, you know, getting to know you. And it was like, I, their heart was like, I already love this person. But it was like their head was taking forever to catch up to that fact. And it's like, it finally has, right? Uh, that's, that's actually what we're getting, right? Is it not? But when they were in your life, they, it, they just wasn't clicking. It was like, oh, this person's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this person's cool. Oh. Um, but they didn't really, dis they, they weren't able to distinguish your, the, just how different you were until they connected with their heart space. Um, their heart does long for you. It does cry out for you. Um, it misses your 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 energy, your time, and your frequency. That's that's part of it. it. It's the it's funny because it feels like it was the emptiness itself that has really helped this person recognize just how much they appreciate you. Um, so it, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, I think that's that's it. Is there anything else going on in this person's life? Um, no, I think their life is kind of the same. Otherwise, I, I think a lot of this change or a lot of what's happenings is going on within this person, not so much on their outside life. So I feel like, you know, obviously our life sometimes cha changes a little bit, right? But I don't think there's anything drastic, drastic going on um, for um, probably almost all of you. But for the inside, it, there is a massive change happening there. So it's a beautiful, beautiful amount of change. All right. So I got to leave it there. Cancer, don't forget to like and comment. And thank you for being here. So we are on, let's see, Leo 22. 54 Leo. Alrighties. So let's see. Leo, Leo, Leo. Um, can you tell me what is Leo's person's life like without Leo in it? <sighs> They're stuck in fantasy, reaching for the stars. That's how I see it. Um, you know, if you're stargazing, that's what that's the scene I'm having anyway, uh, in my in my mind's eye, where you're stargazing and you see a shooting star and like, ah, make a wish. And you, you know what I'm saying? Like, make, make a wish. And it's like, okay. All right. Um, and you should always be making wishes, by the way. I make uh, I make one every day. It's um I usually do it on eleven eleven or just one 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 something. Uh, I always have that pop up in my day. <laughs> um, at least one of them. So I always make a wish. You should too, by the way. Don't don't uh, underestimate asking for something. Uh, that is powerful. Um, it does open us up to receive it. It's a, it's a very important that you make a wish. Um, always have your highest good and highest purpose in mind, but you can make it about anything really. But highest purpose, highest good always gets answered. But it feels like this is someone who's very much in wishful thinking right now. I want a better life, but I wish it happened. Uh, I want um, a better story to be right. I want to be writing a better story about my life right now. But I wish I, it were happening. I'm not really doing much about it. So I see them stargazing, right? Um, they're they're looking for a wish. They're looking for um, 
a handout they're looking for their problems to be solved without them having to get up and do anything about it. And it's very typical for a lot of people, right? Everyone's in their comfort zone. And it's not that you know, making wishes is bad. It's not, I told you, I just make, I make them all the time. Right. And, um, the beans light, they always, you know, it takes time for them to work, to work it out and put the energy in, but they do right. As long as it's for your highest good. But, uh, I feel like this is someone who kind of wants a handout without actually having to do anything to get it, right? This is not the kind of person that's going to be proactive, right? And, and walk a path or do the work to get something. Um, this is the kind of person that kind of wants things to be easy. And I feel that the moment things get tough, they get they get going. So you have someone here who has that little bit of that energy. Um, they quit easy. They are, uh, and they're, they're like a, a dreamer, a dreamer, right? They're a wishful thinker and they don't really want to do much to get the very happy future that they really are wishing for. So I, I don't know if this is always going to be the case. I think they have had moments where they felt a lot of inspiration, but they never really did anything with it. And that happens a lot. The whole thing, I, it's the craziest thing, um, Tony, I always get like private readings for this. People are like, should I do this? Should I do that? Do that? I'm like, always follow your heart. What? What? Why are you asking me? Like, it's the craziest thing. Like, I can't tell you how to live your life. I, I am not meant to. You're meant to figure that out on your own and through the heart space, right? Through your own heart center, you find it out, and it's always right. By the way, but. I think that this is someone who's had moments of inspiration, but they didn't do anything with it. It's like they just stood there, um, letting it go to waste, and then it then they don't feel inspired anymore. So you have someone who's stuck, very much stuck, um, but wishing nonetheless. Is there anything else about this that you want to bring forward? There is a lot of beings of light that are helping them with the wishes that they're making. Uh, again, when you ask for stuff, you open yourself up to receive. That's the point, right? Beings of light cannot give you something or do something for you without permission, right? It's the key to um, engagement, right? Rules of engagement that... Uh, all beings of light, right, um, are under. So this is someone who is asking, and there is so much help, but they don't seem to be doing anything about it. I don't know. It's so crazy. Um, I guess don't be like them, I suppose. But this is someone who has, I, I feel like they're getting so much help. They're getting so much support. And... They're getting so many hints and yet do nothing with it. And their life is very much the same now. I don't know what energy this is, like what you'd call it, but this is someone who's just um, every single day basically the same. And then they go home wishing that it was better. It's like, I don't know how to, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. Um, uh, but you need to stay stuck in that for as long as you need to stay stuck in that so that you can actually learn. I got to do something that I got to do. Um, I got to do something for myself if I want my life to get better. And they haven't quite hit that stage yet. It's kind of the feelings. This is someone who's, who's, it's like they're in the, the, um, the pre, I was going to say the precursor of that, but I, I feel like they're, they're, they're not quite there. This is someone who hasn't quite hit that state where they are getting up and fixing their own problems right now. Is there anything else about their life, uh, without Leo in it? When you were in this person's life, they felt very inspirational. They felt very excited and they felt very, mm, they felt like things were moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And now that you're not, it's like they're kind of sitting here wandering around their life aimlessly, uh, wishing, right, for something better to happen to them without doing anything to get it. Very interesting. Very crazy little person you got here. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you, Leo. Sorry, it's, it's going to spin around the same thing because the readings have got to be around the same amount of time. But yeah, I want to thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and comment, Leo. All right, let's see. We are on Virgo now. Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Uh, Virgo's uh, reading. Hmm. Oh, yeah. What's Virgo's person's life like without Virgo in it? They are quite sad, this person. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have the message, but it's an odd message. But what I got, sorry, St. Germain gave it. Um, what I got from St. Germain, they had this idea that they were going to end up with you, Virgo. Like you and them going to end up together, going to spend your life together. And you're just, it was going to, it was like, they had this idea that it was all written and that, you know, it, it's like, there was no stopping it. Like fate, I guess, like fate, right? 
um, in the past. Like they were so sure, like it was written in stone, like they didn't have to worry, they didn't have to fuss, they didn't have to do anything. But now this person here, Virgo, is looking at this and thinking, I don't think that's going to happen. What do I do now, right? And this is someone who's in that, in that energy, sorry, that energy of like, I don't know what to do. I thought we were going to end up together. I thought it was going to be easy. I should, if we were going to end up together, wouldn't it have happened already, right? If we were going to start spending our life together, wouldn't we be spending it already? Like, it doesn't make sense that this has lasted this long or this isn't coming back together or there doesn't seem to be a way for it to come back together. So there's how looking at this, it's like they hit an epiphany or something or they hit a crossroads. Crossroads is what they're giving me. Um, where it's like, do I just move on with my life or do I try to make it work with them? Or do I try to like fix things with Virgo? So you have someone here who's at that crossroads essentially, and they haven't quite figured out what to do. They originally thought they wouldn't have to do anything and that it would fix itself very easily. That it would just, it would be a situation that they just, I don't know, um, worked itself out. Yeah. Worked itself out like with fate, right? Um, with someone else deciding things for them without them having to lift a finger. Like all of us got free will for a reason, right? But hell no, this person wasn't thinking that with you. They thought it was written. They thought everything was set and they thought they didn't have to lift a finger to make it happen because it was already being done. Uh, yeah. Well, they're now hitting the states, right? Where they're thinking nothing's happened. Nothing's changed. Um, what do I do now? Right? It's that it's a really important question that this person is asking themselves. What do I do? It hasn't worked out. It's not, I don't think it's going to work out. And I'm sitting here wondering what the hell am I supposed to do about everything? So it's very interesting that they hit this state. I if they're not telling me which path they'll take. Um I think the the more comfortable route for this person is taking the route of leaving this behind so i i don't know though some of them will obviously do, they'll try to make things work out with you but that own path of like leaving this behind will have its own growth uh it'll also have its own epiphanies where they can't really replace you but it, it's part of the growth necessary it's part of the necessary growth that they have to go through i think this person is scared to face you I think that's what I think. That's why I think they're likely to try to date. I think they may have been doing that anyway for most of them where they were just testing the waters, but never found anything quite like you. And they just, it's like, honestly, they kind of were on a, so they're showing me a merry-go-round, uh, just going about their life, just like, right now, it's like, oh, giddy, giddy up, right? And it's just, they're just going in circles, waiting for the, 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 the timing, right? That time that you were going to come back together. And it's like, wait a second, I've been on this for how long? And nothing's changed? Mm, that's a real, it's, a, it's quite the conundrum this person got, right? And now they're sitting here, well, I, I've, have I been wasting my time? Was it never going to work out? Or do I need to do something about it? Very interesting. So they, they have that, such a such an interesting, the readings have all been real crazy, by the way, but very interesting reading that we have. Um, is there any other information that you want to give about like where this person is like heads at? <sighs> they think a lot. Mm -hmm. They're focusing on the details as well. They are, it is leading this person to have some trust issues. Uh, in the past, they felt it, it would work out between you and them, right? Um, and they really believed that. But I think when they pulled the wrong truth, like, oh, it's going to work out between me and um, Virgo, uh, they thought, oh, I don't have to do anything. Yeah, that was a mistake. I don't think they're quite getting... Um, I want to say... Uh, whew, I want to say the stupidity of that because that just seems crazy to me. Free will is here for a reason, right? I mean, this is someone, I don't know what they were thinking, but it's like they had this idea. Oh, we're going to end up together. It's going to be easy. I don't have to do anything. And so it's like, what? wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, right? You know, like, uh, what, right? And this is, I think they may have pulled the wrong truth. They felt like you two would likely end up together. Like a, like out of the, all the probable futures that we all have uh, when it comes to like, all the things, right? The most probable person they'll end up with was you. And now they're sitting here thinking, I don't think so uh, anymore. Um, but at the time, it really did feel like truth because I it was. It was the most probable. But what this person thought was they didn't have to do anything about it. So they're now not trusting that a little bit, which is going to lead them to, I feel, date other people um, for a little bit, some further. I think they have to work through some fears, by the way. They have a fear of intimacy. That seems to be a big one for them. They also have really bad self-worth issues. That's another one. Um, 
they have a tendency to not really want to dive deep into the self. I, you know how some people just, they just are, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to laugh at this, but it is funny. Um, they just are a certain way and they don't really ask themselves, why am I this way? Uh, why? Where did this come from? You know, they just are a, a way. This, that's this person. They don't like to look into the self they don't like to dive deep um, and ask themselves that really important question why do i why did i act like that why do i do like that why do i think this way no 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 they don't like doing any of that stuff they are um, i i think to a certain extent it's kind of content with who they are but who they are isn't having the life they want so what do you do mm, that's a real it's another conundrum this person got but they haven't hit that one yet but it's funny it's funny that they're it's it's that one's another one but yeah anyway i think that's all i have for you virgo um please don't forget to like and comment virgo yeah very interesting anyway the readings have been so crazy a 55 for libra let's see um a what uh, what is libra's person's life like without libra in it Mm, 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 mm. Libra's worth of life. Let's see. Uh, there is um. This person has a tendency to go into depression. I don't know how often they stay here. In fact, I think they don't stay in it very long. But they do have a tendency to get really sad about stuff, um, get really down about stuff. I also feel like this is someone who has a lot of regrets and shame that they have a tendency to just keep within themselves. So I see this person being in a lot of pain right now, by the way. However, they kind of get out of that funk. I, I know it sounds cr crazy to say, but you know, some people when they're mad, um, they're, they, you know it. I think that this is someone where usually anyway, when they're mad, no one knows. Um, they, they're very much trying to keep that, but I think they have a tennis, they have a, they have this weird knack, uh, Libra where they're able to snap themselves out of that. Right. You know how like we, it's like a, think of it like an energy you're engaging with, like an energy of depression, right? You're just you're like, Ooh, play with me. Right. And then this is someone who has a, who has the ability to like snap out of that and push that away. And then they're okay. <laughs> it's all energy anyway, but they have this tendency to do it. So I see this person actually being quite sad inside. They actually have a tendency to engage with uh, low vibrational energies. And, but they also have a, this knack of being able to switch it off. So their life is sort of like that right now where they go into a funk and then they snap out of it and then they're okay. Um, but I think they swing back and forth very often. Um, but that's not stopping anytime soon. I do feel this person has a lot of work, a lot of healing to go through i do feel they probably need um a shrink sorry it's what it's what i got like a like a, a professional that, that's what they gave me a professional um but i don't i don't see them doing that just yet anyway or maybe it's just you know um they're not taking it seriously you know it's funny i have um I have like a lot of people who get like, you know, private readings and they're always asking like, why is this happening? Why is that? And I tell them and then we go and heal it. But there are some times it's not often, but every once in a while you have someone who just doesn't want to let go of that, doesn't want to heal that, doesn't want to deal with that, doesn't want to like, you know, clear all the layers of it. So I'm like, I can heal this right now. And they say, yes, they always do, by the way. But um, I think I could fix that right now if you want to have that fixed. And uh, you can tell they just don't want to dive deep. I think that this person has that tendency. They don't like going too deep into the self. Um, they just don't. And they kind of like to skate the surface. And this is actually, I think this is why they, they have a tendency to go back and forth between that funk that they and they end up in and then they snap out of it um it's interesting very interesting that they, they have that they have the ability to just snap out of it they have a strong mind by the way that's that's key to it it's the key component <laughs> um, let's see what else is this person's life like right now without libra in it again there's that sadness coming through <sighs> Oh, I got what they were saying. I was I was like, why did I get that? Yeah, normally they can snap out of that and get out of that funk whenever they want, basically. I, you know how some people like to be a little sad? I know that sounds crazy. I, I know it sounds kind of crazy, right? You know, some people really like to be a little sad. They actually liked it. I was wondering why they were going. It's like, why are you engaging with that? Um, that energy that is uh, like lower vibrational, but they actually appreciate that. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Don't, don't eh, eh, whatever. Okay. 
they actually like to, but they like to be able to, they snap out of it quite quickly whenever they want. Yeah, because you're not in their life, they have been indulging that energy for so long, they can't snap out of it now. Um, they don't, their mind isn't strong enough to like, to snap out of that and get out of that funk because they lost you. Sorry, I was wondering, I was like, why did I receive that? I was like the craziest thing, like why? Like what, where is that coming from? Like this is an oddest thing, but I got it now. They were not, they're not able to snap out of it. They are, if for one, it, it's so, it's gotten so big, right? The energy grows, obviously. It becomes this massive little, I don't even know, cloud, right? It's hanging over you, on you. Uh, it's so big and their mind isn't strong enough to push it away now. So they are stuck in the, no, sorry, I don't mean laugh. They are stuck in, um, in a depressed, a funky state, um, but it's necessary because uh, I think that when they would enter those states, they enjoyed it a little bit, right? But they were skating the surface. Now they have to go deep into the south and really find the root core issues as to why they're sad or why they're in pain or why they have shame. I see shame, regret, remorse as well. They have um, a tendency to beat themselves up for choices that they've made or things that they felt they should have known better about. So they have, they have that one as well. Oh, I guess that's high standards, is it not? Um, is there any other ones? Guilt. No. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was wondering, I was like, why, why am I receiving that? But it always comes back, comes together. But yeah, that's so funny. They did now they, they're not able to snap out of it. So they, they're, they need that. They need this experience, by the way. Um, it had to be a big one. Um, this person's mind is sharp. It's very, it's very, uh, this person has a really sharp, really, um, powerful mind, um, without it being a massive, um, energy ball, right? Surrounding them. They would be able to push it off of them, but not with you. Um, I guess you're the cause of that. You know, it is a, a, a reason to cheer. I know it sounds crazy, but it is because now they're able to finally deal with the stuff they need to deal with. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where they're at. I, I think they have a tendency to like to cry as well. Sorry, I'm getting it, but it, it's, it's that it's a it, it's, they have that they like it. And they like to feel those things. They have this person is actually quite deep. Uh, by the way, they are deep, but I think they they like um, they like being able to just dive into the deepness and then they just pop right out. But their deep, their waters or their their you know emotional body, um, it, it has a lot of low vibrational frequencies in it and stuff and energy in it, and um, they they really do need to fix that. That's part of it. It's part of this person's growth. So that's where they're at right now. Anyway. Uh, I gotta leave it there. Sorry, uh, 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 Libra. Anyway, don't forget to like and comment. And thank you so much, Libra, for being here. Uh, God, these reads, again, I, every single reading gets crazier and crazier. All right, so let's see Scorpio. Scorpio, what is Scorpio's person's life like without Scorpio in it? I feel here, Scorpio, that this person's life um, without you in it uh, it's kind of a dark place. Um, in some ways, kind of like the, the Libra reading I just did, but it's not quite the same. Um, I think this person has a light at the end of the tunnel. They're finding their way out of this little dark period that they're in. Um, this is someone who I think that they were in denial. Hold on once, one second. They were in denial. I think they were blaming you at one point. Now this is someone who's starting to get into the higher frequencies or embody higher vibrational energy, but it, it's the way that it's coming to me in my mind's eyes that they're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's like a, a beam of light that's coming down and it's helping them lift up. So they're in that period of a, I want to say it's ascension. That's what if that's what it looks like to me. Um, but you know, those ascension, uh, if you ever like look up, you know, imageries of it where you some tones is being lifted up into light yeah that's what's happening with them but they have been stuck in the darkness for a while uh it's been a, it's been a long time that they were there um a lot of times we don't necessarily know how bad it is until we get out of it. And that's what I also feel is another thing that they're going through. Does that make sense? I know it sounds so crazy, right? You know, you are super depressed. You're, you're such low vibe, but you've been in that for so long, you don't recognize just how bad it is, right? So they're having a taste of higher vibrational energy, higher vibrational frequencies, and they're now starting to get what they've been missing this whole time. But they have been in a dark place for a long time. And 
it, it's like they were going about their life. Um, I want to say running on empty. That's the feeling. But uh, going about their life and low vibe, low frequency. And now it's like uh, they got that taste. Now they're uh, they're on the rise. They are going through their ascension or one of the, you know, one of the, I don't know who it's. I'm guessing it's probably about like 900 steps of ascension, right? The first one, um, uh, Metatron says it's about 980 steps uh, of ascension. Anyway, uh, so uh, that's that's so crazy. I'm more than halfway there, but uh, it, it's it, that Metatron's giving that that number. Um, but this is someone who's t rising up now, and in doing so, they're now getting oh that sucks. <laughs> I know it's I know I know it sounds crazy, right? But when you are in it, when you're used to it, when you don't know better, yeah, you think that's normal. You think you think being a, a low vibrational person is a normal thing, right? You think it's just. I, I don't know. It, it, it's it's as good as it gets, right? But this is someone who's now starting to get, oh, wait, that sucks. Oh, I don't want that anymore. I actually want to go up now. And that's exactly where this person is going. So I see them in the energy of ascension and the energy of growth and the energy of feeling better. And it's a really good step in the right direction. They're now starting to recognize all the things in this person's life that are low vibrational compared to the higher vibrational stuff as well. So now that they have this, Mm. comparison, right? Are they, where they see the difference between the two. They now have a chance to let go of all that. In my experience, most people don't let go of most of it. You want to know what I did? I let go of all of it. Almost all of it. I did like, I'm like a 92, 93%. I'll just, I released it all in one go too. Hmm. But I've been here a while and I, I just knew what to do. I got, I got, I got to be real with you though. <laughs> I got to scrap you. I got to be real here. I don't see this person doing that. I see them releasing maybe um, 10, 20% of it. Right? and never releasing the rest. So uh, who knows, uh, but this is such an important step in this person's evolution because now they're able to just, this is someone who, you know, how much do you want to remake your life is how much you want to release the old, right? And this is someone who's having, they have that choice. It's like a, it's not a pass per se or a crossroads, not really that. This is someone who needs to make a choice about what to no longer invest in so that they can bring in more of the higher vibrational stuff that they do want. The higher vibrational stuff feels better. It feels more fulfilling. It feels more gratifying. It gives more for the energy we put in. That's key, right? This is the Ascension timeline after all. And whatever they're giving energy to gives very little in return. And uh, they now have to make that choice. What, what choice they'll make for the connections and people and things in their life um, are places as well, right? I, I don't know. Um, in my experience, most people don't let go of enough. That's that's the problem, right? And uh, it's like this is a it's like the first taste of that high vibrational stuff helps you recognize all the bad stuff you've been partaking in that are un worthy of your time mm -hmm. there it is unworthy of your time yeah very crazy oh I, I, again scorpio the readings have been so crazy if you have other uh time placements i'd watch them um they it's every reading's gotten crazy and crazier it's just like wow anyway um is that is that all you got for me uh is there anything else that you want to say for for scorpio for scorpio's person's life the ball is rolling um I see this person, uh, you know, one of those uh, Indiana Jones balls that they have. I think it's Indiana Jones. Their person's right here. Indiana Jones. They're lifting it up like a, I guess, like a, a, a steep incline. Yeah. Hmm. I think they're going to give up. I don't know if they're strong enough um, uh, when it comes to putting, putting up, pushing that ball right up the thing. I think they're going to give up on that. Um, I think it's whatever they are being called to do right now, which is to release some of the stuff, a lot of the stuff, actually probably all of it, right? That is low vibrational. I think they're, it's, they're going to give up before they complete it. It's sad, by the way. But um, I see them doing that. I don't see them being strong enough for that. And there's also a lot in this person's life. A lot of, you know, like everyone has a varying different degrees of stuff, right? Depending on how much work you've been doing on your life, when you hit these certain, you know, milestones, you have your own, right, amount of work. So it's funny because I see this a lot when I... um. I'm doing like, you know, private readings and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, this person has that dark side. I see it. And other, their dark side varies all the time. It's like some of them, like, I actually don't have one. I have, I, actually, there's a little bit one. I have to have, uh, get that cut again. But I had it all cut. And um, 
it, it was it was actually kind of big. Mine was kind of big, but I had it cut off me. But uh, you know, it varies um, on you know. You know, it's varying different sizes, and um, it depends how much you feed it. This person got a big one. Yeah, they already got a real big, like, dark side to them, and it's something that um, hmm, I just get the feeling that it might win. Is what I want to say. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Um, I want to thank you, a Scorpio. Don't forget to like and comment. So we are on forty. 855 for Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's look at what is Sagittarius' person's life like without Sagittarius in it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So in the past, this person found your connection too intense, too exciting, um, too mind-blowing. I also feel, I don't know if you are, hmm, you're quick on your feet or something, or, oh, I don't know how to phrase this. Uh, you know how you ha some people are have a gift, a gap, or they're really good at, um, comebacks. I, it's something like that. It, it doesn't have to be exactly like that, but it's very close to that. But you have this, like you're really good at, um, you have a, a, a sass to you. You have this, you're really good at comebacks. You're really good at, um, banter. Uh, they found this. Oh, so exciting. They love that by the way, but it kind of feels to them when they first met you, uh, like it was a, but careful. It, no, it was careful what you wish for. Mm -hmm. Like, careful what you wish for um, kind of thing. Because they felt that you had too much of it when they first met you. But that's actually how it is when we first get exposed to an energy. It, every time you, you get exposed to an energy that's new to you, um, it always feels, like, really intense. It feels like it's almost um, mind-blowing, right? It almost feels like it's it's too much of a shift. And, you know, that's actually why our evolution is so, it goes in slow increments because we literally can't handle too much at once. Uh, it would, um, it fries us, right? It could make your mind explode as well. <laughs> I'm not joking about that one. You, you literally, your mind will literally explode um, and you can have a breakdown, but it, it's stuff like that where this is someone where it's like, they, they're they like, oh, I really want someone who's funny. I really want someone who is, um, adventures. I really want someone who's really good at banter, who, you know, who really stimulates me. And they met you and it was like, oh, be careful what you wish for me because I got so, I got, th it got this and this, um, I got, sorry, my dog. Are you scratching, baby? Baby, don't scratch. All right. Anyway. Um, but this is someone who's like, wow, they have it. They have, they check every box. But they have like a hundred and like eighty or seventy percent of it, right? Or two hundred percent, whatever, right? Uh, of it, and this is someone who felt that you had too much of what they wanted at first because it was so intense. But now that you two are apart, they look at this, and I gotta be real, they are missing you bad because it now it doesn't. It's sure it may have been mind blowing. Uh, sure, they may not have been ever been able to win a. Uh, uh, an argument, or you may have been too sassy for them, or you're too quick witted, right? Um, for them, <sighs> sure, right? But at least they were having the time of their life. Now it's like I'm bored, as I'm so bored, I'm so bored, and I don't know what to do, right? I, I'm so bored, I don't know what to do. And it, this is someone where it's like, I, I, I don't know what ha happened here between you and them. If I don't know, if they're, um, Who's answering Saint Germain? Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but that's what this person was feeling. And now it's like now that they don't have that, they miss it so bad. Um, and you were uh, the time of their life, so exciting, but they also felt very nervous around you. I don't. I they they felt. You know. I I you know. Sometimes you just you kind of compare yourself, or you think, well, I don't know how to word. I don't know how to phrase this. Um. You, you, you think, well, I, I'm good at this or, and they're good at that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you seem to be good at everything. It was real annoying, by the way, at the, at the time. Um, you seem to be really good and, and this person just couldn't, they, they couldn't f in any way at any time feel superior over you. And it's, and it's something that they, they, because they're so insecure, they needed to feel superior so that they could actually feel like they're worthy of you. Right. Um, and it's part of that. It's part of it. But again, you just had a lot. You had a lot. It's had this, you know, big personality, very uh, funny. And it's everything they wanted, everything. And um, it was, it scared them, but it was too intense. The feeling, the energy coming off of you was too intense. It, it felt like um, I, how it's hitting me is like fire on the chest, like this, like going like this. Um, but it was just like, it was just so intense. And it's like this person just didn't know what to do. Um, 
Very interesting. Now it's like I, I would do anything to get that. I'm like, sorry, it's funny. <laughs> it's a shoot though. I would do anything to get it back. All right. But at the time, I was, I, uh, it's, honestly, I feel like this person was almost running or pulling away in a, in a certain extent. It just, this is someone just like, uh, it's like, honestly, if they were looking for the fire escapes, that's what they gave me uh, as an example. Or it's just like, you know, they're, they're literally had their eyes on the fire escapes. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, is there anything else that you want to bring forward for Sagittarius? It's a person. It's lifelike right now. Let's see. <sighs> calm before the storm. They're not bringing anything else beyond that, Sagittarius. Uh, but calm before the storm is what they're saying that this person's life is like right now. Um, I want to say that it, it felt like somebody uses this person might be thinking about taking actions towards you. But it is calm before the storm nonetheless. So I don't know what that means. But I think they're in a period of calm waiting for the storms to come or waiting for that action to come, waiting for that excitement to come, that lightning bolt to come. Um, uh, but it's like, I'm kind of going to savor this because when, I know when it starts, there's no stopping it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Real crazy with that one, right? There's no stopping it. It's clear. Very beautiful. Yeah. I think I'm good there. I want to, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Sagittarius, uh, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and comment by the way. And let's see, we're at 54 minutes. Okay. 45 seconds for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Let's see. Uh, what is Capricorn's person's life like without Capricorn in it? Very much wounded warrior type person you got here. Mm -hmm. Very much, oh, I don't know how to phrase this, Capricorn. I see them limping. Like, you know when... Uh, I do, I, I do watch a lot of shows. I was just watching The Witcher. I uh, finished watching the season. But you know when... um. <sighs> You know when like uh like like there's like a war or battle scene and you see like a a, a soldier limping like oh owie ow and they're just like you know you know limping yeah that's what's going on with them right now this person is limping away from some kind of battle I I don't know if the battle is with you but it does feel that way it's how, how I received it but it could be in other stuff in other areas of their life but they're very much a wounded warrior they're very much um in that wounded energy they are nursing their wounds right now um I do feel like this is someone who's uh going to go to battle again and they're going to fight again but they need some time to recuperate uh i don't know if you have um said something to them so um you know uh i think this person it honestly kind of felt like uh it could have been things that you said or maybe other people said but i see them really in the energy of of being hurt by what people have said or maybe you it does feel like it was you you said to them and it's something that they're trying to fix, nurse, uh, get, you know, repair, restore so that they can start to fight again. I do feel like this is someone who is um, going to attempt to come back with you. However, they're not ready for a comeback with you yet. Um, but they are, they're very much planning for the future. I do feel, though, um, that wounded warrior energy. They feel weak. Um, I think a lot of you or maybe life cut this person down to size because they feel smaller than they it's like i don't know how, oh i don't know how to phrase this it's like they thought they were bigger um than they were you know a lot of times you, if you don't go through a lot of hardship or something like that in life you kind of think you're 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 oh what um you're bigger than you actually are, right? Uh, and it's like, I know that we sometimes look at hardship or, you know, especially when we have it very early in life and think, oh no, I wish I didn't go through that. But that taught you to be strong, to be big, right? To be stronger, right? And this is someone who I, I think they just assumed they were big, but they realized when they faced some adversity, they weren't so big. So I think that that's part of it, right? Um, I, this is someone who hasn't, they didn't experience that many bad things or they didn't live through or so have to, it's all I see what it is. They didn't have to survive anything that bad, right? And now it's like, wait a second, I, I don't feel great. And this has been such, this is such a, um, an important time for this person to grow in that respect, to be stronger, but it requires those, those battles. It does. And I know, I know, uh, I, I know a lot of us have limiting beliefs or surrounding that, or we wish things didn't have to be that way. Go ahead and do that all you want. But in reality, this is how it works, right? The battles of life make you stronger. It is, it just, it is, it's just life. But, um, this battle or the battles that they've been going through in their life are, making them stronger um and they haven't lost that will to fight by the way or that will to keep going or the will to push they just need some time to recuperate they're in a rejuvenating cycle right now by the way yeah it's um 
uh, like I'm seeing like a med bay, um, uh, like, you know, like they're being, they're being healed. It's so important, um, but it is nonetheless. They are going to be stronger, wiser. That's a key one. I do feel more humble uh, is another one as well. If when, Because it, I don't know what happened to them or whether it was you or with other things. But it's been a humbling experience because, again, they thought they were big. Big, but they didn't go through much. Yeah, good luck with that, right? And the moment they faced that adversity, they realized just how big they were. It wasn't that big. And now they're going to grow stronger than ever. And they're going to be humble, though, as well. So that's part of it. It's a part of that equation. And again, when you go through those stuff really early in life, you are humbled through your own experiences, right? They were not. It's real interesting, by the way. They're real interesting. So they have been humbled. <laughs> and it's been it, it's such a necessary step in this person's evolution. You wouldn't want them unhumbled. That's all I gotta say. You would not want that. And this is exactly what has come into their life. Is there anything else that's uh, that you have for Capricorn's person? Uh, let's see. I hope I said Capricorn to start. I, it's Capricorn. <laughs> I hope I said that. Anyway, like, did I say Capricorn? I think so. Anyway, let's see. Um, anything else for Capricorn this person? That's it. Uh, there's this healing. Um, they need this uh, recuperation time. They need some time to reflect as well. They've had what some people call as an ego death. Sorry, that's what they're giving me like that just to give you some you know to help you understand truly what's going on yeah necessary <laughs> real necessary anyway i want to thank you capricorn don't forget to like and comment and take care so we are on one hour and 10 seconds for aquarius all right we'll do 11 seconds okay um let's see aquarius 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 let's take a look here aquarius what is a craziest person's life like without Aquarius in it? Mm, 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 mm. So this person is missing your friendship, by the way. It's uh they are settling in their friendship connection. There was another sign that had this to a certain extent, and they are bringing that sign up. I don't know if you have watched it or you're going to, then it's really, really confirming this message but they, they um saint germain just said it's like that other sign i did i don't know what sign it was i i, I, I don't know anyway but but um this person's um missing your friendship and they're kind of settling in their life with their connections right now um their life is kind of boring um i do feel um that this person really does have deep feelings for you. Uh, whether or not they were able to express or show that, I don't know. But this is someone who's very sure about how they feel about you. And they're very sure about the friendship that they had with you and how amazing that was compared to what they currently have in their life. I do feel like this is someone who is going about their life in a traditional way. There's also another component here um, for you, Aquarius. There are other people in this person's life who are... I don't explain this. Um injecting their opinion about maybe you, but I think injecting, injecting their opinion about what this person should do with their life. And they're having a really difficult time kind of shutting that out. And it's one of the things that pops up a lot and uh, just in life for all of us, all of us have that, you know, everyone wants to think that they know better for us, do they not? And because they can see our karmic cycles before we can, and they think, oh, I know what's best for you. Yeah, it, that doesn't mean much, right? Our karmic cycles are our, our own um, for our highest good, right? You know, we need to go through that on our own and we need to be completely blind to it until we finish it, right? But every, you know, when you see other people going through stuff, you're like, this is gonna blow up in their face. It's supposed to, whatever. So a lot of people have a tendency to think, oh, I think I know what's best for you. And they constantly are telling this person to do this or not do this. And they're having a hard time closing themselves off to that and thinking and feeling with their own heart for themselves. So they're struggling with this. They're struggling to come to their own conclusions and they're struggling to come to their own opinion. So you have someone who, whose heart is singing, whose heart is saying, whose heart is uh, leading, right? But because of all those other people's opinion, because of all those other people's um, interference, it's kind of keeping this person from believing what their heart's saying. So if everyone's saying the same thing or something like that, why should I listen to my heart that's leading me somewhere else entirely? It is an important question because your heart's always right, obviously, but 
this is someone who's not quite getting that one just yet. So they, they there's a lot of people though interfering into this person's life. Uh, it's like voices in their head. That's how I see it. Uh, words that they're saying. They they take it to heart, by the way, as well. Um, those voices, which also interferes with this person's ability to feel what their heart's saying, all by itself. Um, a lot of fears are go. Sorry, a lot of fears creep into this person's heart. Um, by the way, it's a big one. Um, it, it just it just flows right in there, and then they start to make choices from a place of fear. Real nasty business there when you make those choices from there, <laughs> and not good. Um, but they have a tendency to do that. They also make choices from a place of lack mm, as well. Ooh, uh, uh, I'm, I can only imagine what their life is like. You know, a lot of times our life is like blah, right? But when you compare it to what it could be, you it's shocking. It's like shocking just how m much more amazing it could be, right? And this is it. This Their life is like blase. It's like everybody else's. But how amazing their life could be is this other thing that they don't even have... Um, that they don't even know, right? But your heart knows what that is. That's the point. That's where your heart's leading you there. Um, and this is someone where it's like, if you, if they were to understand and have a glimpse, I wonder if I can do that. Um, actually, you can technically. <laughs> uh, if you have your 5D Merkaba activated, you can actually go time travel into the future. So um, you can go and check out <laughs> your some of the parts that are written and really sense out how amazing they are. By the way, mind blowing. All right, I do. I actually, actually, I haven't time traveled in a while, but uh, when I do, I I always go to the future. I don't go to the past, but I go into that future and I feel my highest expression of my purpose. And it is mind, oh, actually, it's not really mind blowing. It's heart blowing. Yeah, it's real good. Oh, I love it. It's a heart explosion. Um, but it's amazing when you feel that because you really get just it really helps propel you. So this is someone who needs that experience. All of us have access to that because, you know, if you have your 5D Merkaba activated. But yeah, it, it's part of it. Let's see. Is there anything else uh, about what this person's life is like? Very mundane. I don't know if they paint or they do something creative, but but um I see them doing uh, their creative stuff as well. They're not really rocking the boat, essentially. And I understand, right? You know, sometimes we it takes a while for us to get to a place of <sighs> balance, right? And we get all scared about, oh, I don't want to rock it again, right? Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But let's be real. Whenever, anytime that boat got rocked, it, it, you know, of course it was chaos and then it eventually moved into something real beautiful. But a lot of us have that shock factor about it, right? And I think they have that a little bit, this person. Um, they're a little bit scared about rocking that boat, which is part of the reason why they don't seem to want to. But I, I get it. The rocking the boat is usually pretty, <laughs> it's, it's chaotic, right? We all know that. Um, however, it always leads to harmony. Chaos always moves to harmony. It's actually a duality the duality of life, right? Chaos to harmony, harmony to chaos. And this is someone who's in a harmonious state, right? Or their life is in a harmonious state, but it's not where they what they want with their life. So they need a chaos to get them a little bit up or a little higher, right? They don't seem to want to do that. It's very um, sad, right? When you think about it, but it's expected when you think about it as well. <laughs> and that's that's what they're dealing with. All right, I gotta leave it there. I wanna thank you, um, Aquarius. Don't forget to like and comment. And oh, wow, these readings so crazy. Okay, 55, four, Pisces. All right, hi, Pisces. Let's take a look here, Pisces. Um, let's see, let's see, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What is Pisces person's life like right now uh, without Pisces in it? Mm -mm -mm. For one, I feel like this person is expecting to see you or they're expecting that you're going to come and cross paths again. I don't know if that's actually been something that's happening, but part of what's going on in this person's life is like they're waiting for something else to happen, but it also ties into your connection as well. I think this person has a habit of this. They, they just wait for something to come to them. They are probably very much a lot of times in uh, receptive energy, right? Um, just waiting for stuff to happen, waiting for stuff to happen. Stuff does happen because we naturally attract it, right? Um, and that's nothing that's actually wrong with that, by the way, something wrong with that. But um, this is somewhere where I feel they're in this energy of waiting for the next thing. <laughs> that's it, right? So it's like, they're bringing for an example. It's like you have, um, 
you're at home and you always have visitors pop up, uh, people, family members, friends, blah, 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 um, pop up in your life. They always drive to your home and, they, and then they knock, right? This person has a life that is very much like that where stuff pops into their life with someone just knocking. It's like, uh, you know, are you home kind of thing? Yes, they're home and they've been waiting. So they, this person's life is very much in that energy and very much in the energy of receiving um, what they are attracting. They could practice law of attraction maybe, but law of attraction happens no matter what. And that's part of it. It's what's bringing this into their life or what's bringing situations into their life. So this person has, all they have to do is wait. Um, they don't mind it, by the way, but this can be very frustrating for you, for themselves to wait, to wait, to wait for something to happen rather than to go and make it happen whenever they feel called to, right? You know, all of us have those where it's like, you kind of know like, oh, I should probably just, I, I should leave this, it'll just solve itself. Like we all, I've been in that energy right too, right? I just like, eh. I'm like, look at something and I'm like, mm, I, it's gonna, I don't have to worry about that. It's gonna solve itself. I, I can leave it alone, right? And I just wait for it to just fix itself and boom, there it fixes up. My heart told me, right? But there's times where I feel this person's heart saying, we should go and do something, right? We should go and act today or we should, you know, take this action, and then they don't do it. Um, so so th although it, it, they do are an attractor and they do attract a lot and it does work, there are times when this person feels that they should be um, being a little bit more proactive when it comes to their life and they're not doing that that much. So it is interesting um, that this person is very much in this energy, uh, but that's what their life is like right now is waiting for the next thing to happen. Um, let's see what else is this person's life like? They have a lot of stuff that keep them busy. Um, it's part of it. So they may have a lot of distracting or, of, um, uh, uh, tactics or things that keep them, uh, keep their mind preoccupied. I think that's a good one, a good way to put it. Um, they have a lot of things like that, that keep, you know, the time, uh, uh, such a, if you're just like wa staring at the wall, waiting for something to happen, waiting for someone to show up at your house, it will take forever. But if you're like playing board games or you're playing card games or you're watching TV, what, what have you, right? You know, time's going to fly. Um, and then it doesn't really feel like you've waited that long, although you technically have, right? But this is, it's part of it. It's part of the equation. So their life is very much in that mundane um, cycle, they're not shaking it up. I don't know if shaking it up is what they're meant to do. It doesn't feel like that per se, but I do feel a little shake up, a little, you know, um, the house settling a little bit, right? Um, that will really do some wonders. And I, it's important that we all have some of that in their life, right? You know, if you take the same path home every single day, um, but you get the inkling you should take another path just to see what that's like, do it. That <laughs> I know it seems like it's insignificant, but it's not. And again, again, with the law of attraction, that little shift in your energy does attract something else. And uh, doing that repeatedly or doing things, things differently repeatedly does attract different things into your life. And that's the point. So it's part of it, isn't it? Right. I don't know. That's funny. Um, but is there anything else that you have for the Pisces viewers? I feel like, again, they're just at home. Um, they're just at home, not really making choices, not really doing anything. Um, very much like that. Uh, they eat munch a lot, by the way. I, I see them maybe munching or eating, not eating the healthiest uh, foods. Or I, I actually, maybe they are eating healthy food, but they definitely eat chips or something. There's something they munch on. But yeah, that's all they see for this person's life right now. Um, but they are anticipating, though, Pisces, that they are going to see you again. And that is going to happen. And it's just like, they just got to wait, wait it out. And that's actually what, what this person is doing. No action towards you, per se. But very much trying to... Um, very much attracting you with their own energy, but hey, very crazy. Anyway, I want to thank you, Pisces, for being here. I uh, do appreciate you. Please don't forget to like and comment, and uh, take care. Bye, Pisces. <laughs>